Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jean here with more Mars High Rise Epic Anomalies and Artifacts. This time we're looking at two obelisk shaped objects I discovered in Protonilus. And uh, Protonilus is named after the Nile Canal. The high rise photograph we're analyzing is called Moreau Crater Bed for Monitoring. And uh, in it, NASA is monitoring these dunes and the movement across the surface. And that's where these anomalies have been uncovered. I featured in a previous video some of the other artifacts, and uh, those have been covered now. And the dunes have moved on, and uh, the anomalies we're looking at in this one are the recent ones that have been uncovered since the dunes moved over to the one side. So it was acquired on the 16th of April 2019 at 30.3 centimeters per pixel with one by one binning. And uh, the anomalies were cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low res black and white just to give you an idea and context of the area in which I found these anomalies and you can see the small dunes over there. Right, so we're back in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars, 41.49 degrees north, 44.94 degrees east. So we're looking at this area of Moreau Crater in the larger region called Protonilus Mense. First object, this is one I featured in a previous video, about 12 meters in length. We've got this obelisk shaped object. You can see two of the triangular sides there and uh, a small protrusion on the one side. So the dunes have moved on and this is one that's been revealed now and it's also about 12 meters in length and uh, you can see it's got straight edges to it, parallel lines there. Yeah, we can see one of the triangular sides and uh, we've got a rectangular side here to the right. Look at the uniform depth of this block. There they are side by side for comparison. And some other examples I thought I'd throw in here as well. These are from part three, the Curious Enigma of Tanaeus, and that one, part three, the Sidonia Neolithic Artists and Builders on Mars. This one up here to the bottom left is very similar to this one up here to the top left, in that it's got uh, one triangular side and then a rectangular side over there, same as over here. And then this one, a typical obelisk shape over there. Right, then we're looking at another little triangle on a larger piece, and each side of that triangle is about five meters in length. So in this case, I'm not sure if uh, this triangular object is carved out of this larger piece, or whether it's an object on its own that's sitting on top of this larger piece. Also, this uh, larger piece has got straight edges there, right angles. I don't know what that could be. And there's some other examples of triangular objects I discovered. This is from dozens of triangular objects spotted in Newcomb. Both of these very weird that uh, we've got two triangular objects in one JP2. This one also on top of a larger base structure that there seems to be carved out. And then this one sitting over there on a square base structure. Also pointing in the same direction. And we're looking at two anomalies over here, the one at the top right and this one over here to the bottom left. A very strange uh, arrangement over here. That piece is about uh, 14 meters long 
and uh, consists of these two very thin parts. Looks as if it could be sort of disc shaped. Look at the shadow that's being cast. Could this be some type of uh, ventilation system or a hatch? Rather weird. And then uh, a little triangle sitting over there to the left. Up there to the top right, that block, which is about 10 by 10 meters. And uh, we've got smooth flat sides. And in each corner across the diagonal, we've got two of these uh, darker spots. That there looks like a hole that's been carved into it there. And on this side, that looks like a little dome-like protrusion over there. Check out these parts. Looks like some type of debris field. We're going to be looking at uh, three objects over here. Uh, that piece is about uh, 10 to 12 meters in length. Got right angles to it, straight edges, smooth, bright surface, and then a little protrusion there in the center. It's very similar to another piece. This is from more megalithic ruins found on Mars. Also have straight edges. This one looks slightly bent with a protrusion on the one side as well. Looks almost like a uh, a metallic plate, some type of wreckage, who knows what these things are. And we're looking at uh, some layered objects over there, and that is about 12 meters wide. Let's zoom up close, we can see nice straight edges to it, rounded arc over here, got symmetry and geometry in that shape. And then some parts on the top. He has another triangle over there in that pattern. To get that uh, cylindrical shape on the top. And then another disc shaped object underneath it there. And that one over to the right also. Multiple parts. Get the strange little triangle sticking out of the one side there straight edges and right angles again and uh, smaller parts on the top. Yeah, we're looking at two other examples of what looked like wreckage or structures. Both of these are from the same JP2 in Kotka crater. Get the layered objects over there. We've got straight edges and right angles, parallel lines. We've even got a T-shape to that design and there too we've got two pieces with parallel sides to them yeah we're looking at this block over there which measures about five by five meters and uh, the one side is like a triangular design look at the uniform depth to it on this one side and there's another one this is from Strange Objects east of Darwin. So it has this sort of triangular shape. This one on the one side over looks as if that could be a little opening there. Maybe this here is the door or hatch that uh, fits in there. Looks almost like a little disc. Who knows what that is? Is that a little craft parked next to an outpost? Pure speculation, guys. Right, so let's move on over to the northern mid-latitudes of Mars. And uh, we analyzed that JP2 over there. As you can see, iRISE has scanned this region quite a bit, monitoring the dune activity and movement. And as a result of that movement, we're finding more artifacts and anomalies. And it's located in the circular depression called Moreau Crater, named after a French astronomer. Let's have a look at uh, the anomalies just briefly for summary. And uh, let's have a look at some of the other anomalies I found here. This is where I uh, found this huge megalithic block. 
inside a circular depression over there and what looks like a toppled Mayan statue and John McGavick, one of my friends, pointed that one out. Got megalithic slabs, look at these straight edges and right angles over there. That there looks like a little pillar. It's about eight meters long with these protrusions or glyphs on it. And then located over here we've got these small objects with little domes or protrusions on them. Have a look at some of the other anomalies in this region. So this is named after the Nile River here on Earth. He has a ton of anomalies uh, in this JP2. Just have a look at them briefly. This strange flat disk with three protrusions or smaller parts in a triangular pattern. This here looks like some type of uh, sheet metal. Strange piece over there with this rounded design to it. So it has a hole over there on the one side. It's also got a constant thickness to it as well. That weird piece looks almost like a ship's rudder. And check out that uh, hollowed out part there. Got uh, two quarter disc shaped objects there. This one seems to be lying on its side, pointing up towards us. Get the perfect rounded side there. And on top of this larger piece we've got that rectangular part over there. Look at the straight edges and right angles. Also the placement of that little dome or sphere on top of it. Also, like a hexagonal design to that piece. Symmetry and geometry. Look at that perfect triangular part there. A little protrusion at the apex. Like a slot in the one side of the eye. Also, with a line drawn through there, we've got symmetry and geometry. That strange piece. Looks like uh, this part is folded over. Highly unusual. Got two rows of these uh, smaller parts on top of that block. Another little triangle in that design there. And another little triangle on the middle of that one side. So another like a hexagonal shape of here. That looks like an eye that's being carved into that block. There's another triangular pattern over there. Looks almost uh, like some type of sarcophagus. Interlocking parts. And we've got two little pyramidal features that are the same size, same shape. Wow. And I've here more disc shaped objects. Check those two out. Another hexagonal object over there. And we've got two of these classic disc and dome shaped objects as well. Right. Check out this block over here with this part sticking out of the one side. I 
and that's also where I found a huge bright disk. It's about uh, 12 meters in diameter. That's it for this one, ladies and gents. I don't want to keep you too long. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative and interesting. I'll be back soon with more Mars anomalies and artifacts. Keep well and be safe. Bye-bye for now.